Hey guys, this will be a quick video on how to install the NAP resource pack for Minecraft version 1.16.3 down to version 1.13. As always, I'll be making this video as quick and to the point as possible. I'll be splitting it up into sections which you can see along the video's progress bar and in the description. Without further ado, let's get started by installing Optifine. If you already have Optifine installed, you can skip to the next section. First off, before we install Optifine, we'll need to make sure that our Minecraft is updated. Open up your launcher, make a new profile on version 1.16.3, make sure it's selected in this little drop down, and run it once just to make sure that all the files are downloaded. Once you've done this, you can close your game. Next up, we're going to need to go to optifine.net. I'll have a link for it in the description. From here, go to downloads show all versions, download the 1.16.3 version. Don't click anything on this page except for the skip button in the top right. Hit download again, save the file, and we'll put it on our desktop. Once we've got this, we can double click on this file, click install, and then it should say Optifine is successfully installed. You can hit OK and you can delete this now. Now that we have Optifine installed, we need to select it in Minecraft. Open back up your Minecraft launcher, go back to the installations tab, and click these three little dots to the right of the profile you made earlier. Go to edit, and then under version, find the Optifine release. It should look like this. We can now give it a name. I'm just gonna give mine a sick name, like 1.16.3 Optifine. Go to more options, scroll down, Change this to half of however much RAM you have. For example, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I'll be changing it to 16. If you only had 8 gigs of RAM, then you'd be setting it to 4, and so on. Once you've done that, hit save, go back to play, and launch your game. You can see that in the bottom left corner, it says modded. And if we go into our options and then video settings, we'll now have some new settings, such as the shaders menu. You can now close your game. We will now be installing shaders. I'd advise doing it through the NAP Discord server because then you can easily get all of the shader settings that work the best with NAP and it's a lot easier than searching through the internet to find shader packs. I'll have a link in the description so you can join the Discord server. Once you've joined the NAP Discord server, go to the shader settings channel. And here you'll find all of the shaders that work well with NAP and the settings files for them. For this tutorial, I'll be using BSL, as it's one of my favorite shader packs. So the first thing we'll need to do is click this link, which will open up this web page, and then we'll scroll down and hit this download link right here. Hit save file, and we'll put that on our desktop for now. Next up, we're going to download the settings file, which is right here. Put that on our desktop next to the shader pack. You can now close Discord, open up Minecraft, go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and then Shaders folder in the bottom left. Click and drag the BSL zip and the BSL settings file into the shader packs folder. You can now close this and tab back into Minecraft. Click on the shader pack, and you should now have shaders on your game. I'm just going to start up a world to make sure that everything's working so far. As you can see, there are realistic clouds in the sky, and the water looks pretty realistic as well. You can also see that the foliage is waving. If your game doesn't look like this, make sure you have your shaders selected in the shader settings, and that you've properly installed Optifine. Now let's install NAP. Go back onto the NAP Discord server and go to the tier channel section. Depending on what Patreon level you are, you'll have access to different packs. But I'll be using the free pack for this video because everyone can use it. Click this link. Don't click anything aside from the skip button. And click download and direct download. Save the file and we'll put it on our desktop. 
Now I'll go back into Minecraft again. Once you're in Minecraft, go to Options, Resource Packs, and then Open Pack Folder. Click and drag the nap zip into this folder and go back into Minecraft. If you get this error, just hit yes. The game will work just fine. Hit done. If your background on the main screen looks like this, then you've properly installed nap. I'm going to go into the server real quick just to show you that everything's working. As you can see, if you look closely at these textures, they have bump mapping. And these stones over here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to help you. You can also go to the NAP Discord server to ask for help or my Discord server. I hope you guys all have a great day.